morning everybody. I'm just getting ready because I'm going to the Eden Project today. If you don't know what the Eden Project is, it's like big biodomes and it's got like every plant ever in it and I'm really excited. It's like it's got forests but indoors. I'm currently in Cornwall with my other half. He's just in the shower. We got here yesterday and we're in this really lovely Airbnb in Truro and it's so nice, there's a hot tub. I've never actually been in a hot tub before, so that was nice, it was relaxing. I don't know if you can hear those birds, but there's been birds singing all morning. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my hair, I'm gonna do my face, get my outfit on, and I'll show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> okay guys, I'm ready, I don't look like a troll anymore. Uh, this is what I'm wearing. Um, you can flip that around. <laughs> <laughs> the dress is from Disturbia, if anyone's asking. Might link it down below. It's one of my favourite dresses at the moment. And then shoes, I have no idea, but if I remember, I'll link them for you. But yeah, we're off to the Eden Project now, which is about 45 minutes away. So we're going to go have a little drive, get to the car park, sort our bearings out, and go look at lots of plants. We're on our way. So the next few days, we've got Eden Project today. Tomorrow, we're going to St Agnes, which is a pretty special place for the for the Wallaces. Um, basically, it's where my grandparents used to live, and when I used to grow up, every summer we would come down to St Agnes, and it, it's just such a nostalgic place for me. And I've come down to see if I mean, obviously, I've come on holiday with him, but <laughs> yeah. Um, but I also want to see if my granddad's memorial bench is still here at Trevornet's Cove, and. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I've not been down here for maybe 20-ish years. Um, can't remember the last time I came here, but I know that there's a lot of places that are gonna kind of spark a lot of nostalgia. So I can't wait for that tomorrow. We're also gonna adventure to some castles and a witchcraft museum, which you guys might be interested in. So I'll try and capture some of that for you. But today, it's a day full of plants, full of forests, indoors and biodomes. I'm really excited. You guys know that I've been obsessed with plants for the past like year or something. So yeah, I'm gonna take you along with me. I think we found Aragog. Not sure I like him. stepped into the rainforest biome with all the rainforest plants and it's I mean wow it's absolutely breathtaking guys you know how much I love my Swiss cheese plant they've got Swiss cheese here look at these monsters this is why it's called a monstera deliciosa because they're huge look at that compared to my hand absolutely massive I want to take it home oh my god it's huge all of this is just monstera it's giving it's giving gothic vibes Red ivy. The greens. So look. Ooh, pretty. Nice. So we've just had lunch and we're in the Mediterranean biome now. And there's so many pretty flowers. Look at that pink. There's a lot more colour in this one. It's a bit cooler as well, which is quite nice. Seagull. <laughs> yes, seagull, everybody. Um, <laughs> anything oh, else you'd like to say? Well, that's, that is all for me. <laughs> anything else you want to point out? Car. <laughs> okay, guys, we have finished at the Eda project. We've actually just come to charge my car. Um, we've got 30 minutes to burn, but yeah, I've got a little little gift bag I didn't actually buy that much people watching are gonna be like what do you mean you didn't buy that much in a gift shop um, I got my mum and dad some alcohol um, they have Eden IPA which is my dad's favorite brewery which is St Hostels because we're nearby at the moment so yeah never seen these before and I think you can only get them from the Eden project I'm not even sure you can get them online so got two of those one for mom and dad and then and then we have decided to start collecting 
these little magnets of everywhere we go. And we got a little Eden project one of the biodomes. Is it biodome? It's biomes. Biome. Biome. Uh, Biome. <laughs> so yeah, we've got one of these for the fridge. It's our first of many magnets, isn't it? So it's going to be nice. But yeah, we're just going to charge. We're going to get some food. So you probably won't see much of us for the rest of the day unless we go on maybe a little adventure to a beach later, but might leave you guys at home. But tomorrow we are going to St Agnes. So we will see you there. I'm quite excited, but I'm a bit concerned that I'm going to cry a little bit. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Good morning everybody. It's the next day. I'm in St Agnes. This is like Wallace stomping ground. I've just visited the Methodist Church, which is like somewhere that I used to come every summer. I used to do like charity bake sales and stuff. Uh, it's where, I think it's where my granddad had his funeral, but I'm not sure. But I know that I used to come here for all of the services where I'm not religious by the way, but <laughs> my grandparents were and I used to come see them most summers and I've not been here for like two decades or something but the smell of Cornish pasties is giving me absolute life I'm not gonna lie but today I'm on a mission to go find my granddad's memorial bench and I hope it's still there I've not been here for like two decades so let's go have a little mooch definitely gonna pick up a wee little postcard or something some Tagnes Cornwall might send all these to my grandma The Cornish pasty goods have been secured, they're in the bag, and now I'm just walking down a road called Key Road, which will take us all the way down to Trevornant's Cove, and that's where my granddad's bench is, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna go eat a Cornish pasty as a little nod to him. I'm really hungry, they smell amazing. Can't beat an authentic Cornish pasty, really. Good stuff I've been waiting for. Proper Cornish pasty. Well, I've just enjoyed Cornish pasty with my granddad. And now we're gonna go paddle in the sea and stuff, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Very excited. Um, honestly, it's such a beautiful day. Sorry if it's windy. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I've only mildly sunburnt my shoulder today, but that's fine, I've just applied more sun cream. We're back from St Agnes. It's been a gorgeous day and very nostalgic. The Cornish pasty was like 10 out of 10. Spent a lot of time down to Vornet's Cove on the beach and having a little paddle, looking at all the rock pools, went for a little drink, which was nice. Um, nearly died walking back up Key Road, which is like a really steep hill. Um, but yeah, we're back and I think we're gonna go on a hunt for some fish and chips, aren't we? Yes, we are. You excited? I'm starving. You're starving, that's all he says. I'm starving, it's like his little catchphrase. Uh, so I'm gonna go feed you, <laughs> I'm gonna go feed you, uh, feed me as well, and maybe see if we can find a sunset potentially at Perrinporth Beach. I have not been there for decades. Um, I like Perrinporth Beach, it's a good one. So yeah, let's go. If they could see you right now, <laughs> it's just like cap on backwards. All right, let's go. Good morning, everybody. It's now the next day. Um, went to Perrinporth Beach last night. Um, I, I can't remember if I told you anything or if I filmed. I may have left the camera, but. A seagull decided to shit on my head, which was lovely, delightful. Um, <laughs> you can stop laughing. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I had him with me that took his sock off and um, got it out of my hair. What a gent. But yeah, and then we nearly got stuck in the sea and I got all my trousers wet. It was quite comical, to be fair. Um, today, we are going to a witchcraft museum which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so I'll definitely show you guys that. But for now, I've got to go charge my car and travel there. So I'll see you there. All right, we made it to Boss Castle, Boss Castle, not sure. Um, 
You just said I looked bougie, didn't you? I do, you always do. Apparently I look bougie in a brown coat and glasses. It's chilly today. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there's loads of like little tiny shops as well, but I think we're gonna go to the museum first because it shuts at half four. So let's go. Right, we've just had lunch, had bangers and mash, it's great. I'm in a little pottery shop with like crystals and stuff, which is quite quaint. Very tempted by this ceramic spoon rest, if I'm honest. I feel like you get past 30 and then you need a spoon rest. Looks a little bit like instant darkness powder. Very cool. Love that. We've had a little mooch around the shops. We are fed. It's got to that point of the day where I just, we want to go back and chill now, so I'm probably not going to vlog too much more, but I definitely recommend the Witchcraft Museum if you like reading about stuff. There's a lot of cool knickknacks and things. Um, it was a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be as well. I thought it was going to be really, really small, but it's a decent size. Do you reckon it's a decent size? It's a great size, yeah. It's, yeah. It's like half an hour. <laughs> half an hour or something but yeah and it was quite cheap to get in as well so if you're down this way in Boss Castle check it out uh, there's some nice places to eat around here as well we had like a proper pub lunch it was good it but was yeah really good. it was really good but yeah we're gonna go chill out for the rest of the day I'm gonna do hot tub I'm gonna do hot tub again I've only used it once since we've been here we've been here three days now yeah so we will see you maybe tomorrow Hopefully you can hear me, I don't have my little muff on my camera, but I am going to St Michael's Mount today. We're going to go on a boat and I think later we have to walk across the sea, across the causeway. I've been here quite a few times, um, I'm really excited, it's really nice, it's a nice day as well. this little map on the side of a building which is quite cool. Here's the little harbour where we got our boat in. You can just see one leaving now. Oh it's such a nice day, such a nice day. Okay we've just come for a mini pit stop. Got a little sparkling apple. Just had some little ice creams as well. It's so cute on St Michael's Mount. Just bought some things as well. Um, St Michael's Mount chocolate pebbles. They look like little sea pebbles like yeah. those. And because we're collecting magnets on our trip, we've got a little St. Michael's Mount magnet. <laughs> um, some little patches as well. There's your haul from St. Michael's Mount, but we're going to go see a castle now. Right, my little legs have got to walk all the way up here. explored the castle now's the fun bit because there is a path that goes from this island all the way back to the mainland the water has gone out now so the tides low so we can walk essentially through the sea along a path sometimes you can actually walk through the sea on it as well if it's not quite out yet <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go back to the mainland I'll show you what it looks like it's probably gonna be pretty busy so you'll probably see people on it but it's still pretty cool so this is the path that goes through the sea and when the tide is high you cannot see it at all. Right, I say goodbye to St Michael's Mount. Yeah.